lost 24 people. And the reason why we didn't lose more is because the community really came together and helped each other get, get out. Whether it was, they didn't even live in the area. I'm hearing a fire, I better call my friend Joe. And hey, there's a fire, what there is? You know, I don't know how many stories I heard about that or Facebook or text message or pick something. We, we can't do it by ourselves, placing fire and with something that large. Um, there's just, there's no way. I think we had almost 150 officers from out of the area on Monday night, and then it grew from there uh, over 250 um, for Santa Rosa alone. And um, what I tried to do uh, in the morning at 6 a.m. and at 6 p.m. is be there to kind of shake people's hands and thank them. Because they're coming in trying to help us get a handle on this thing. No organization, no government could afford enough firefighters to deal with the biggest fires that, that are gonna happen. This one was way beyond that, but even, even regular big fires, you need help. If I recall, at one point, there were seven or 8,000 firefighters camped out at the fairgrounds. Um, there were hundreds and hundreds of fire trucks from all over the place. And whether or not it was a bus driver, public works guy moving uh, cars so we could get traffic flowing through an area, it doesn't matter. Every little bit makes a difference in keeping the community safe. But when it all was said and done, everybody showed up. Yeah.